Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. So if you watch the show, you would have seen I recently picked up this right here. 223 Winchester Super Short Mag. Some people say it's the fastest 22 caliber out there. It's pretty ridiculous. This is a 55 grain Winchester silver tip. You see right there, 223 WSSSSSSSSSM. Okay, it doesn't have that many S's. Well, it's some people's goal every day to tune in and just to tell me how they could have done the videos better and how my information was all wrong and how I'm such a dummy. Anyways, that kind of said, well, I have a bunch of 22 caliber centerfires, seven that I could come up with. Um, let's just put them all on the chronograph and see what happens. Now, I only have one factory loading of these 55 grain 223 WSSMs. So, so to make it fair, in all of these, I got a 55 grain. And if I didn't have a 55 grain, then I got something that's the closest to it. Also, here's another kicker. They're not all the same barrel length, so that's gonna be the two complaints of this video from people in the comments. This thing is void, you didn't have the same projectile weights, or this thing is void, you didn't have all barrel lengths, I'm unsubscribing. So, let me tell you, it would be impossible for me to get the same barrel length and same projectile in all these. It just would be impossible. Cartridges are made with an optimum bullet weight and barrel length design when they're created. If you put everything the same, then you're putting some at a disadvantage and some at an advantage. But anyways, I'm gonna use either a 55 grain or whatever I had closest to it. Um, if you had to recreate this video, you would have to go spend like over 20 grand. But I'm, I'm doing the best that I can of all the stuff that I've compiled over the years. So let me just run you down the list here real quick. And then I'll show you the pew pews I'm gonna sling them out of as I sling them. At the end of the video, I will edit in a spreadsheet that gives you the barrel length, the projectile, and the speed. So if you're really interested in this video, you don't gotta take notes, I'll put a summary at the end. Now let me show you here what I'm working with. I'm gonna save the 223 WSSM on the chronograph for the end. Uh, and we'll do that one last. But let me just show you all the ammo right here quick on the table, then I'm just gonna get to slinging them and I'll show you all the data together at the end. So there's a 55 grain 223 WSSM. Then we have a, what is this? 75 grain 22 arc. Those are designed for heavier projectiles. They don't make a 55 grainer, but I'm trying to do as many 55 grains as I can or closest weight. I have heavier weight, 22 arcs, but I got the lightest one I had. Then we've got a 204 Ruger. Heaviest ones I have in that is a 40 grainer. Yes, I know there are even faster ones. I've got 32 grainers. Then for the 5.7, I got some 40 grain. That's a 5.7 right there. Then 22 250, one of my favorites. We have a 55 grainer, so that's gonna match up exact. For the 220 Swift, that may be my favorite. We have a 55 grainer. I picked this because it's a 55 grain. I have some lighter weight 220 Swifts that are really fast too, but I wanted to match that WSSM weight. And then finally, some regular 223 55 grain. So that's gonna match it too. Like I said, you don't gotta take notes. I'm gonna put all this together at the end. Let's get to slinging them. Everything's gonna be out of two different cans, either my Banish 223, which everything is threaded the same except for my 22 250s threaded 5 8 So I'm gonna put this 30 cal can. That's my Banish 30. But uh, let's get to slinging them. I'm just gonna start at this end of the table with 223. So what did I bring for 223? This is my Ruger American Ranch 556. Yes, I know it is a shorter barrel. I do have a long barrel Remington 223, but I had to steal some trigger parts out of it 
when I built my 300 PRC. So that Remington doesn't have a trigger in it. So this is the only one that I have that's a bolt action that can sling uh, 223. So like I said, not a perfect test. It's not a science lab. We're just doing backyard stuff here, guys. So let me get my chronograph turned on. All right, chronograph is on, aimed in the general direction. Uh, let's just start sending them. 223, this is at Remington, 55 grain. Why is my bolt seized up? You gotta be kidding me. Did I leave some brass in there? Hmm. Well, my Ruger American Ranch is jammed up. The bolt is stuck down. Let me go smash it on something heavy. Or probably stomp on it. I didn't leave brass in it, but I had to stomp on it to get the bolt open. So I don't know what the deal is with that. Uh, but yeah, that bolt was jammed. Ah, I don't like how they design these with last round hold open on a bolt action. That's so goofy. Here we go. What's the speed of this one? And I'm gonna write all this down so I have it for the end of the video. 2840. That's gonna be slow in the grand scheme of things. Next is my 220 Swift. This is one of my absolute favorites. You'll see why here in a second. My 220 Swift right here is a 26 inch long barrel Remington VSSF. Can't find these any, anymore. And I had this one threaded. Every single thing you're seeing on this, I have gotten half inch groups out of. I really like the lightweight stuff. Um, I've really become a fan of it. So, uh, I love my uh, 220 Swift. I'll send one of those 55 grain Hornadies through here and see what speed we get. I don't even know what to guess, tell you the truth. 36, 33. That's winning so far. One of these days I'm gonna take a deer with this 220 Swift. It'll do it. I've filmed two deer hunts with 22250. So if 22250 will take a deer, so will 220 Swift. You can tell which ones are my favorites by which ones I leave loaded with hunting ammo so I can just grab them. That 220 and the uh, 22250 I had in the safe. Uh, with ammo in them. Here goes a Remington 55 grain, so same weight as this super short mag. Uh, see what speed we get out of these 55s. This is a CVA Cascade, by the way. Love the Cascades. That 220 Swift had a 26 inch barrel. This one only has a 22 inch barrel. Thirty-five forty-eight with the Remington ammo. Thirty-five, actually forty-nine. That two twenty. Woo! I mean two twenty-two, two fifty, and the two twenty. I love them both. I love them both. Next is the five seven. This is a forty grain Federal. It's the heaviest 5.7 I got. Where's that thing at? This one is a Dark Mountain Arms, which is kind of interesting if you've never seen one before. Dark Mountain Arms. It's a single loader. And this barrel is 16.6 inches. Again, I'll have all this down there at the end of the video. Mm, that suppresses very nicely. 35.48. So that's up there too. I'm super interested to see what this little super short mag speed does. All right, what's next? Next is gonna be the 204 Ruger. That was one of the number one comments on my super short mag video. 
hey man, you're a dummy, just get you a 204 Ruger. And my response was, I have one. I got about 40 videos on 204 Ruger. I really like it. But then again, 204 Ruger is based around a lighter projectile, a 32 grainer or a 40 grainer. I've never seen a 55 grain 204 Ruger. It wouldn't be ideal, I wouldn't think. It'd be too heavy. Uh, but 204 Ruger. Now this is a 40 grain Remington and their AccuTip V varmint loading. So let me get this set up. 204 Ruger. And how long is the barrel on this one? This is a 22 inch as well. This is a Ruger American Gen 1 Predator with an <clears throat> Oryx stock I put on it. I really like this one. Got a super nice piece of glass on it too. And remember, this is a 40 grainer. 36.28. So the fastest one so far is still the 220 Swift with a 26 inch barrel, 55 grainer. Interestingly enough, that was almost the exact same speed as a shorter barrel, 40 grainer. So the 220 Swift is pushing a 55, the same as 204 is pushing a 40. So that, I'm telling you, I love, um, well, I love them all, but I love that 220 Swift. That thing is just nice. Now we're getting a little bit more oddball here. 22 arc, that's pretty new. And I do have a 22 arc and I've done some videos on it. Um, if you want to check them out, check them out. I've got videos on every single one of these in detail. Most of them um, have full ammo test videos. Um, I got new videos every day, guys. Uh, some people have been messaging me saying, oh, I'm glad you're making videos again. Man, I never stopped. For almost six years straight, I've had a new video every day. I try to cover everything. Uh, but 220 Swift is next. And what do I have in a 220 Swift? It's kind of interesting. Not 220 Swift, 22 Arc. I'm confusing myself. This is my Brenton USA 22 Arc 18 inch barrel. So this is included in that statement I made, half inch groups. This one's getting like quarter inch groups at 100 yards. This is an absolute ringer. I've got a big honker scope on here. Blackhound Evolve. I'm actually going to swap this out for something I just picked up, I think. Uh, but if you're a Blackhound fan, um, they're quitting them. Uh, they were bought out and they're dissolving it. So if you want a Blackhound scope, you better pick one up. And that's another company we have a discount code on. Uh, but that's going away. So if you like Blackhounds, you better pick one up. I believe our code is just hootie hoo to get you like 20% off, but I'll have that down below or something. But this thing is super nice. When I say super nice, I mean super nice. Uh, we need to take a deer with this one too. Also need to take this one long range. But here goes a Brenton USA 18 inch barrel 22 arc. It's heavy. It's a 75 grainer, so it's going to be slower. But I had it, so we had to put it in the test. Oh, and that thing was loud. I forgot to put the can on that. Yowzas. And that read as, uh, we didn't get a reading on that. Oh, that was loud. I'm going to have to get another one. Yikes. With that big break on there. Good thing I got my ears in. Goodness alive. Goodness alive. Man, that thing was loud. See, I got too much going on. Woo! Just scared all my chickens. Anyways, uh, we didn't get a register on the chronograph. So, I'm going to send another one. Man, that probably shocked y'all's ears too, just watching it through the, the screen. Goodness. And now it's loud. My ears are ringing a little bit. Yikes. I need to be a little bit more forward. This one's got such a short barrel from where my chronograph is. Much better. Wow. 2925, even with that heavy round. I just scared everything from here to 
I don't know where. Goodness, that was loud. Did I say that was loud? It was loud. Uh, yep, that was loud. Now, last one, the one that everybody has been waiting for, myself included, this 223 Winchester Super Short Mag. Man, that thing had a brake on it, too. I'm anti-brakes. Woo! I don't use a brake on nothing. This makes it so loud, it's not worth the benefit, in my opinion. Goodness, that was loud. Now, like I said, the moment we all been waiting for, myself included, Winchester, super short. Uh, somebody on the last video where I showed this thing said that these didn't come threaded. Um, and I believe that to be true. When I look it up on the Browning website, I believe this is called an A-Bolt Varminter and they came with unthreaded 24 inch barrels. I measured this this morning and this is a 22 inch barrel. So I think somebody, maybe the crown got messed up or something. It's hard to say because the thread protector, I mean, it's knurled and nice, but somebody could have bought this or made this too, I guess. Uh, I don't know, but as it sits, this is a 22 inch barrel, uh, 223 Winchester. Super short mag. Even holding it in my hand, it feels funny. Like, that's not right. But let's get us a speed off this bad boy. Uh, see what happens. 55 grainer. Browning A-bolt. Um, this thing, I sighted it in. It got a 0.4 something inch group if you missed that video. Um, like I said two times already, every single one of these I've found loadings that get half inch groups. Let's send this one into the berm and see what kind of reading we get here. Ooh, that suppresses very well, too. Ha, ha, ha. Woo, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay. That's the fastest out of all these. And I'm going to show you the chronograph screen right here, so if y'all don't believe me. It really is that fast. Um, I'm going to show you the chronograph screen right here. Okay. He told me I was moving the chronograph. Yeah, 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 yeah. Quit telling me. 3725.7. So there really is something to be said for that uh, 223 Winchester Super Short Mac. Everybody said, oh, all that stops faster. Okay. My 220 Swift with the same grain weight, 55 grain weight, with a 26 inch barrel, four inch longer barrel. Um, Almost 100 feet per second with a shorter barrel, super short mag. Now, let me put all these numbers at the end here. Y'all can freeze the screen and look at it. But hey, y'all, appreciate you watching. Make sure you're subscribed. We got quite a few 22 caliber center fires. Possibilities are endless for video ideas. Some of these I've already done on steel. If you miss those videos, check them out. Burning holes through AR-500 with several of these. Appreciate y'all watching. We'll see you on the next one. Hootie-hoo. Make sure you're subscribed.